Hi-Res Studios' third-person online battle arena, Smite, continues to be a popular choice for gamers around the world on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Since its release in 2014, a total of over $8.6 million in prize money has been handed out to the dedicated competitive communities across multiple platforms. With that said, here are the top 10 highest earners in the history of Smite. Competition, cosplay, community. Hi-Res Expo at DreamHack. Get your tickets now at HiResExpo.com. In at number 10 is Peter Dimi Dimitrov, with a total of $244,400. This German solo laner is one of the few players to have ever achieved two World Championship titles, once with Epsilon Esports and a second time with NRG. Even beyond that, Dimi has a deep history in many different aspects of the Smite community. He's been a player, a coach, an analyst, and has even taken a marketing internship with hi -res Studios' Brighton office in the UK. As of now, he's the solo laner for Outcold Gaming in the EU Minor League. Unfortunately though, Outcold failed to qualify for this year's World Champs. At number 9, it's Craig Irafa Rathbone with $251,575. Another two-time world champion, Irafa is possibly the most unique support in the professional league. His aggressive playstyle keeps his opponents on their toes, especially with teams that mesh well with his playmaker attitude. Although he's changed teams multiple times in the past few years, he's consistently remained on the forefront of the professional scene. Most recently, Irafa and his new team, the Renegades, placed first at the 2019 Mid-Season Invitational and directly qualified for the upcoming World Championship in third seed. In joint seventh place is Andre Yamin Branville, with a total of $256,700. Yamin is the third player on this list to be a two-time world's winner, but the first to be the MVP of a championship tournament. Though this Swedish mid laner is retired now, he always seemed to be ahead of the curve, especially when it came to past metas. During his first World Championship run in 2016, he frequently pulled out characters that were often meant for the carry role rather than the mid. These phenomenal performances will forever leave a mark on Smite, as he is commemorated as the Epsilon Soul Skin. Tying with Yamin in 7th place is Kennet Adapting Ross, who's also amassed a total of $256,700. In the past, Adapting, the jungler of the back-to-back -back champion squad, has been referred to as the best player in the world. His raw mechanical skill was unrivaled for the majority of Smite's existence, especially in the jungle. Adapting is known for his very hard carry style, shining brightest when his team works around his potential. In more recent years, Adapting has worked to orient his style more towards his team, as shown through his success with his current team, the Pittsburgh Knights. Once again, he's about to have a chance at his third crown, as the Knights have already qualified for this year's upcoming World Championship. Sixth place belongs to Emil Emilito Starnman, with $257,300 the final member and second MVP of the old Epsilon NRG team, Emilito has been an incredible ADC since his SPL debut back in 2015. Though many may look to junglers to be the powerhouse of a squad, Emilito is one of the few ADCs that can finesse his way through all five of his opponents should he be on the right character. In fact, his performance at 2017's World Championship netted him the MVP award for the tournament in addition to the NRG Kronos skin in honor of his timeless play. Now, Emilito will be up against his former teammates as he challenges them in the upcoming World Championship, fighting for his third title alongside his new team, E-United. Ryan Omega Johnson takes 5th place with career earnings of $301,506.65. Though Omega has been retired from the solo lane for several years, he was the first person in all of Smite to hold the title of World Champion on both PC and Xbox. Despite his number of titles, his journey to earning them was not simple. The first season of Smite was tumultuous for COG Prime, seeming to always play second behind their sister team, COG Red. However, Prime was triumphant at the 2015 World Championship, defeating Titan 3-2 in a nail-biter of a finals. After his success came a period of mild disappointment, especially when Prime failed to qualify for the next Worlds. Clever as always, Omega decided he would try out the Xbox League, teaming up with several other PC pro players to become Team Envious. 
he took the reins of this new team, leading them to a victory at the 2016 Xbox World Championship. In at number 4, it's Brett MLC Stealth Feli with $313,506.65. Another player turned employee, MLC Stealth was quite the monster in the mid lane. Alongside Omega and the rest of COG Prime, he fought tooth and nail to prove his worth as a player at the first ever World Championship. During the very last game of their series vs Titan, Stealth popped off on Scylla during the final play, earning himself a triple kill, the World Champion Crown and his very own COG Scylla skin. After such a triumph, Stealth shuffled from team to team until he decided it was time to retire and start a family. Stealth took a QA position with High Res and moved with his wife and newborn daughter to Atlanta. Getting into the podium positions, Andrew and Insta Woodward takes third spot with $321,506.65. Though he may not play jungle anymore, and Insta was always known to be an incredibly consistent top level jungler. Unlike the other jungler in this list, Andy's playstyle hovers between hard carry and facilitator, leaning one way or the other depending on what his team needs. This flexibility came in clutch during the 2015 World Championship, as he helped to carry his team, COG Prime, to a victory. Although COG is no more, he still teams with his ADC and support from that squad to this very day. Andy is currently on Space Station Gaming and has transitioned out of the jungle and into the mid lane. He's not necessarily new to this role, but has certainly been taking many steps in the right direction to grow and prove himself as a multi-role carry. Rosario Jeff Hindler Villardi is the runner-up in all-time winnings with $322,714.31. Jeff Hindler has been known as an incredibly talented support from the moment Smite released. He prefers gods that peel for his team and facilitate their success, typically leaving the frontline engagers to his solo laner. Jeff has nearly always laned with his longtime friend, Barracuda, and thus the two have incredible synergy. Alongside the other half of his dynamic duo, he's one of the only players to have attended every world championship so far, winning one alongside COG Prime in 2015. This year though, his hopes of attending his sixth fell short as he was knocked out the SPL. And finally, taking top spot is John Barracuda Salter, the highest earning Smite player in history, with $329,506.65 to his name. Barracuda is one of the most beloved Smite players out there, known as the fan base's hometown hero as he lives near Atlanta, Georgia. Barra has always been an entertaining ADC to watch, especially considering his dedication to his Twitch community, the Fish Tank. Ever the hard worker, he's proven himself as a world-class ADC by winning the first world championship with COG Prime and placing at every single one since. This year, however, Barra and the newest version of Space Station Gaming lost their battle for a spot at the upcoming world championship. Despite this setback, the roster is still relatively new and Barracuda and his new team will surely step up in the future. With the next installment of the Smite World Championship set to get underway on November 15th, 2019, expect to see some significant changes to this list as we head into the 2020 season. And remember, if you like this content and want to keep up to date with all the latest esports and gaming news, click like and click subscribe.